Our next guest story made international headlines after she claimed she was molested by TSA. The actress, former Miss USA, now working to change the TSA's screening practices, trying to restore Fourth Amendment rights to air travelers. Joining us now, Susie Castillo. Great to have you with us, Susie. The, Thank you for having me, Lou. You're, you've said point blank you were molested by TSA. Uh, have they apologized in any way, tried to make the situation right? No, they haven't at all. Um, and, you know, just to be clear, I didn't say I was molested by them. What I said in my video was that I felt as if I was molested. I mean, at that Fair moment, enough. right when it had just happened, right. that's exactly what I felt like. And uh, an, an absolutely correct correction. I apologize. The, the idea that TSA would treat you this way, I have to tell you, my wife and I have been treated respectfully and, and professionally, always by TSA, yet story after story mm -hmm. after story in various quarters of the country keep coming up, patting down children, uh, leaving some women with a feeling that like they were being molested. Uh, I, I mean, what is, what is going on? You hear from people all of the time uh, about their experiences right. with TSA. I do. I, I started a uh, petition on my website on suzycastillo.net because I wanted to gather more stories that I could share with Congress. And that's what I'm going to do with my petition after, you know, I've gathered enough stories is I'm going to share it with Congress in hopes that, uh, you know, they, they'll make some positive changes. Because what's going on, I mean, this Tennessee woman who's in jail for right. protecting her child. I mean, as a parent, well, that's, that's a, what parents are supposed to do. For having quite a bit of attitude. I have to tell you, right. many parents, and I would include myself, would have more than quite a bit of attitude if they were not being <laughs> kind or appropriate with, with my child or grandchild, whomever. Uh, mm -hmm. I, as a matter of fact, I'm a little shocked that passengers d don't express their lack of uh, appreciation for the way some people are being treated. I can't believe American citizens would permit treatment of uh, fellow citizens uh, the, the way apparently they're being treated in some, in some quarters. Right. I agree with you, Lou, and that's exactly why I've chosen to speak out and continue to speak out on the issue, because it is wrong. It is a violation of our Fourth Amendment rights. I mean, it's a violation for Americans. It's a violation of our Fourth Amendment rights. But for for people who travel, whether you're an American or not, nobody should be treated like you're a terrorist first and, you know, a human being later. And it's just it's so wrong. And you hear like the, the study that came out today, how many, uh, you know, violations breaches. go on with the TSA, how many breaches exactly. And I mean, I I'd written a couple more blog posts on my website with, uh, you know, in regard to this um, and we're to the putting, TSA, uh, right. and yeah, and there's my blog right there, yeah, and um, you know, there, there's some interesting information that I found, and I highly encourage people to go and read the blogs, and the, inform yourself, know that just because somebody, they're there and they're telling right. you that it's safe, it's not, that's not necessarily the case, so it's important to be educated and informed on the subject. And to help in that regard, go to suziacastillo.com, uh, and you will .net, see it. Uh, actually. I'm sorry? Dot net, I apologize. Dot net. I, that's okay. That's that's two mistakes in, the, in a matter of moments. <laughs> I, Susie, I, I, and I apologize. I normally don't make more than one you. every two or three minutes. But anyway, <laughs> thanks thanks for being with us, Susie. We'll talk with you soon. Thank you for having Take me. Take care. Susie Thank you. Castillo. Dot net. I got it right that time.